So uh, I'm pulling up one now. See what it is. Well, I'm back here again today. I was hoping the water would have dropped down some, but on the contrary, it seemed to have risen. Uh, probably because this dirt is stopping up the creek down farther downstream. But um, it is spring fed, so there will always be water, but I was hoping it uh, went down a bit. Um, I'll be digging today, probably in a different spot than I did last time. But I am going to go check. It's all under that, under this branch where I was digging last time. I'm going to check it out, see if anything washed out, but I'll probably end up digging past that tree right there. So, Well, uh, this is where I was situated last time. Um, seems like some stuff did cave in a little bit right here, but I don't see anything sticking out. Um, I'm going to refrain from digging in here for a bit just because of how um, far in I already am into the wall. I do need to dig over here some. Uh, looks like I might have missed a little ink right here. Um, it's just a screw top ink so it's not really that special. But I didn't wash it off at all. Still full of blackness. Uh, it does say something on the bottom. So yeah, I guess I'll keep that one. Uh, it needs to be washed out a good bit. But uh, yeah, that's what I was saying last time. When I'm shoveling up so much dirt right there, you can easily miss some small bottles like this. And you can just see all the glass I was pulling up last time. None of it was intact though, except for those few medicines. But um, yeah, I don't see anything sticking out here, so I'm gonna go farther down and dig up somewhere else so one thing you do need to watch out for especially this time of the year in the summer are for some water snakes uh, specifically water moccasins where i am um usually smell them before you see them they stink really badly but um you have to be careful especially around logs like this for where you put your feet um because they're definitely venomous and they can be uh pretty bad if you get bitten so so this is where I will be making my home today. I'll be digging down. I have found that there are actually a lot of good bottles in the middle of the creek. The closer to the creek, the older it gets. Problem is though, you have to dig through water. And not only that, there's less dirt in the middle of the creek. It's mostly rocks and broken glass. So it's really hard digging. But last time I found some really nice bottles, last time I dug in this. So um, there'll be a lot of water today. Haven't dug here before, so there should be good stuff. I've dug right there. But right here I have not. So hopefully I'll pull up some good bottles. So the problem with this is I have to dig super deep to actually reach the bottom of the dump to where the older bottles are. I found just bunches of broken um, things all over the place. But I think I finally have felt an intact bottle. So let me find it again. So I'll just come up with so much broken things. But let's see if I can find it with my fingers again. down here gets really deep yeah so this is the level of this bottle so let me pull it up okay this looks like it's probably a Tishner's but it is the older type of bottle so it's blown it, yeah, I usually could just tell what's nice also about this is since I'm digging in the middle of the creek I have water right in front of me not mud so I can just wash it off in the water that I pull it out in but um, yeah, so this should probably, yeah, Dr. Tishner's antiseptic. It's a nice blown bottle. It's had a good depth. It was probably up to my elbow when I was pulling it out. So yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good first bottle. Um, and I'm going to keep on digging, seeing which I'll find the next one. Uh, looks like I pulled up a door handle. I think it's completely shattered. But uh, it's kind of cool looking with a porcelain look to it. But um, yeah, I don't think I found an intact door handle like this in here. But they can be kind of nice. Uh, if it has iron on the back, they'll be really rusted. But this guy looks really busted up, so I'm definitely not going to keep it. But yeah, it's kind of cool. Well, other than that Tishner's, I have been digging here for a while, and all I am finding are just broken milk glasses and broken neck bottles, broken mason jars, and just broken everything. <laughs> um, I would love to dig deeper here, but it's just really, really hard with all the stuff that's just in this creek. So I'm probably just going to move back to where I was the other day, where I was finding bottles in that mud, where I didn't have to dig so deep beneath the water, because that is just really hard to do here. 
Um, I'm hoping one day the water's going to drop so I can do it here. Um, and this creek is pretty stopped up down there too, and so I might unstop it and get this water to flow a little faster. But yeah, I'm just going to move down there and hopefully I'll find some more bottles for you guys. Well, on a second thought, I'm going to dig right here, which is just past where I was digging last time, because um, it's caved in really badly down there, and I don't want any of that falling on top of me. So, right here, I have never dug before. I've dug right there and got quite a few bottles, but right here I have not. And you can find a lot of bottles within one square foot of space, so I should be getting a lot out of this. What uh, honestly makes digging harder is not the water, but pieces of iron like this are just rusted and deep and really hard to get out. And it makes digging a really big pain because you can't see it and your shovel won't go through it and it just keeps you from getting dirt out. Um, these pieces are really big and so it's really hard to get them up eventually. And also by dragging your fingers like this, it can cut you. So you have to be careful. You have to be patient and go slow and eventually you'll get it all up. It's just a really hard thing to do. Well, I think I just saw a bottle float up. I'm going to see if it's intact. Yes, it is. So it just looks like a slick. Um, I think it's blown as well. It's got its cork still in it, so it's kind of cool. Um, a lot of people just chunk these because they're completely worthless. But um, I usually find a use for them. They can look pretty cool uh, if you clean them up. Can, um, do something with them so I'll keep it clean it up and uh, show it off at the end as well I pulled up this um, I guess it's like a, some sort of copper hinge it looks kind of cool I might clean it up uh, keep it and see what it looks like after but uh, yeah small pieces like this that are just interesting to me so it seems I finally got back to the a lot of bottles layer so uh, I'm pulling up one now Let's see what it is all right, it's embossed and it's a nice size. Okay, so it's probably a yeah, California fi uh, fixer. So yeah, I have a bunch of these, but it's nice to find attack bottles again. <laughs> um, let me see. I think it's machine made, but I mean, I'm okay with that. It's a bottle. Um, it's embossed too, so definitely keep it. But uh, yeah, there we go. So I was pulling up a handful of mud and just look at this, just a bottle stuck in it. I do think it's broken, but it just shows that you can accidentally pull up something without even realizing it. So this was a Castoria, another pretty common bottle. Yeah, broken right there. Definitely have it, but um, yeah, machine made as well. So I think I need to get a little deeper than I am now, but I'm fine with finding bottles right now. <laughs> Got this been a little dry recently. But yeah, sad it's broken, but it's not too bad because I have plenty of these, so. So, dumps like this have also been burnt many times, so sometimes you'll find bottles that are melted. Um, melted and stuck together and fused together with metal. So I know in this dump there's a layer down there, it's probably this metal layer as well, that a lot of stuff is compacted and hard to dig through and all destroyed. Um, but it's only some areas and some areas that aren't. So I'm gonna dig through it. Hopefully on the underside there'll be older bottles and that's what I'm looking for. But um, yeah, I'll see when I get there. So this water has slowly been rising in this. I'm assuming it's just connected under the dirt. So I'm gonna try to like dig a little moat so I can drain it out behind me because this is uh, starting to get really hard to do. Well, by digging this moat, I somehow missed this bottle right here. Ah, oh, come on, man. This is one of those blood wines again, broken neck. Like I said, it's one of my favorite bottles to get out of this dump. And of course it's broken. I don't know if you guys saw it or if I'm just stupid, but this was just sitting right there and I just, right by my foot, just reached down and picked it up. Um, it is embossed, so I think it's probably a Dr. Tishner's um, one I got from earlier, but this one looks a little more uh, modern than the other one, but it is blown, is it? Nah, it's machine made. So it's a Dr. Tishner's antiseptic. So I found one of the older versions of this earlier. Now this is uh, the newer one, so it's pretty cool. Well, I think I got another bottle back here. I'm probably gonna have to dig it out a little bit more. I don't want to try to break it by uh, wiggling it out. But, um, oh, <laughs> never mind. I'll just pull it out. Okay, I uh, forgot the name of these. I found quite a few of them, but they break so easily. Yeah, so every time I find them, they have cracks in them. Um, just a very embossed bottle. Um, I'll clean it up and keep it so you guys see it at the end. But uh, 
Yeah, never have found an intact one. So uh, these were all the finds from today. I'll just go through them real quick. So first we got um, the, uh, more modern because it's a screw top, but the Carter Zinc. Um, I do like ink, so I'll definitely be keeping that. Um, then we got this Tishner's. This is probably the oldest bottle I found today. You can kind of tell from the blue tint. And on the neck, there's the seam stops around here. So it's a blown bottle. It's a nice one. Uh, this Tishner's is actually blown as well. I thought it was machine made earlier, but um, it's a little newer than that one down there just because you can tell from the, clue, uh, the clearness of it. But it's still blown, so it's still a nice bottle. Um, got the California Fix Syrup, nice embossing on it. Um, it's machine made, so it's pretty modern, but it's a nice bottle, so I'm keeping that. Um, this just slick medicine, thought it was machine made, but it actually is blown as well, so it's, a, it's I mean, still kind of a worthless bottle, but it makes it a little more valuable than it would be if it was machine made. Um, this bottle that I can't actually read what it says, but I would have put it up on the screen earlier when I found it, but um, it's got that flesh crack on it, and it is blown as well, so I'll keep it. Flesh crack is kind of sad, but as I said, every time I find this bottle, it's always broken. And then, saddest find of today <laughs> would be the blood wine. Um, this would have been a blown bottle. Next, just always broken when I find it. It has the big B on the bottom for blood wine. Um, one of my favorite bottles just because of the shape and the uh, embossing on it is so interesting. But yeah, so that's all the finds of today. Um, hopefully I'll find some, some better bottles next time, but that will be next week. So I'll see you guys then.